Hello, 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 hello. How's everybody? Well, I have to go to work tomorrow, but I'm going to make some rice before I go to sleep because I want to eat something. But now I just wanted to say, um, and I'm doing this rice because I have a certain amount of time to do everything. But you know, I said everything that I was going to I said everything that I was supposed to say. And I went over everything, but now the only thing you got to do because, I mean, like, everything is there. I mean, in all the videos and everything on YouTube, because I don't, like, say the same thing over again. I mean, I might, I say things if there's more information to give you, but I gave you enough information for you to understand now. And um, I was reading... So many things, I'm trying to see if this says a half. I mean, I'm almost sure it says a half. Okay, it says a half. Um, <clears throat> I'm almost sure I, I said everything. And I'm going to keep, you know, I'm going to keep going and say, you know, like um, new, I mean, not new information, but things to encourage you, things to help you along the way but now it's your turn because i just not read everything on this that was important about this jehovah witness i mean i went to the website the jehovah witness and all the information is given you and you can see clearly that they don't know what they're talking about I mean, it's totally clear. And I know that you see that it's clear. And the last point I looked at today, I actually went on a Jehovah Witness site, and they said they do, they do not worship Jesus. Okay, and that's so ludicrous. And you know it's ludicrous. Um, not just that, but then you look at another point, and it doesn't go as, go inside with the uh, coincide with the other points, but what I'm trying to say is you can read clearly, and all the information is there that it's not even it's not geared toward um, being a Christian or learning about um, God's organization, real organization, which is situated so uniquely inside yourself. Because everybody's individual. How do you get out? Well, it's so easy. I mean, it's not it's easy, but it's very difficult. The difficult part is that you just have to do it. The easy part is, I know everybody wants everything to be easy. And I was going to say that it wasn't easy, but how can I say it's easy? The easy part is just accepting that you're part of Jesus and just going there and doing what you're supposed to do. The hard part is the physical part. That's the hard part. I mean, the physical part is what you have to do, is showing everyone by just getting up and going. I mean, that's the hard part, is that you have to tear yourself away from what you believe. And now you believe in Jesus, and you know because everything that I went over, and I know that you're just as smart as I am, and you can see everything that this organization that you're in, it just, um, it contradicts themselves. I mean, they say they believe in Jesus, then they say they don't believe in Jesus, then they say they're God, and then they mention this Jehovah and Jehovah is the use for everything that's which is confusing, you know, and um, it made me hard to it made it hard for me to explain. But that's one thing I like about YouTube, though, because I was figuring because I, I pay attention to everything and I noticed and I was listening to other people's YouTubes and I was wondering they speak differently from what I learned in college and what I learned in school. Well, it's a new natural way because the YouTube 
you can't like use notes and everything and keep referring to papers and everything. So you depend on your natural ability to explain things. So I was downing myself for a lot of things that I was, the way I was saying things, but then I was looking at other YouTubes and I was saying like, oh, get to the point or do this or do this. But then I found out because I was thinking about it and I was saying, wait, this is a natural way to understand things. And YouTube has developed this because you can't use papers, you can't use books. You have to use what's in your heart. You have to study a lot for these YouTubes. But when you explain, you have to develop your mental capabilities without paper or anything from your heart and how your heart speaks. So in my last one, I think it was the last two, okay, the last YouTube that I was looking at was this um, guy who was explaining about this dog. He was in a, um, or he was in this orphanage for, for stray dogs. And it's, it's such a nice video. Maybe I'll post it to show you how he spoke about this, this, this dog. And it's a good example of how you, ha how the mind works and how naturally we are speaking to each other and how beautiful it is without paper and everything you have to study and then you get in front of the camera and you have yourself okay so if you don't develop anything in yourself you can't really do youtubes and um, i'm explaining to you this because when you come out of your organization and you have to do it one by one the best thing to do is get on youtube and explain you know what happened to to you and that will strengthen you so anyway i'm talking about this dog thing and he was with this dog it was a black sherman shepherd and he was explaining how he's going to be really hard to um find someone a home for him because the dog which we found out was um he had he had a uh, owner and the owner passed away and his wife didn't, couldn't keep him. So this dog was like really, really sad. And I, I think I want to post it. I just want to show you how you speak from the heart. And this is a good example of how you can do your, um, your testimony when you come out of the job of witnesses. So that's why I want to show you that video. I'm going to post it. And I didn't finish it, but he the reason why i like it too because he was explaining about how you explain things on youtube and he was like and it was like a lot of people now who do youtube say they they feel kind of bad for the way that they have to do it but yet because they're it's against everything that you learned in high school it's every against everything that you learned in like in college because it's a natural ability that you have that you bring out when you continually do these youtubes to where you become very well at it and you're able to express more things as if it's a picture than when you try and put few points on paper. It doesn't work. So that's when you do your testimony when you come out. But I'm saying that you have to come out like one at a time because I went over everything and God deals with God, Jesus, the Father, they deal with, in the that thing that I'm talking about, God the Father, God Jesus, um, that will come to you naturally. It's instilled in you. And it's something that you've been protected from. They don't want you to see that because, because it's, um, it's something that's going to destroy their, their earthly thing. I mean, like they had this watchtower, their watchtower organization, and they're the ones that you're actually worshiping. And if you just look it up, it's just all man. It's all a, it's all man made. Okay. So, but you got that in all of my YouTubes. So I know that you know that. But you have to come out individually, which I figured out. The reason why you're coming out individually is because um, you're individual. God deals with people individually. One one at a time or whatever you want to say but each person individually and you know like 
in your organ your organization that you're leaving it's like they have to talk to everybody at once and they they don't they have human only human capabilities to where you have to do everything that everybody else has to do but with god he deals with you individually so that's the easy part is this all you have to do is start thinking about jesus just think about him. you only have to pray first and then once you start thinking about him you see your capabilities open up okay so just thinking about him will strengthen your abilities to because you're finding out who you are okay so that's one reason why it has to be one at a time and believe me it's one at a time that means that he spends specific time with you when you decide when he helps you to come out you don't have to i'm not saying come out when he helps you realize who you are so that's the only the only the hard part is telling others that surrounding you that this is not for me and that's the hard part and there's no easy part about it because it's something that you have to do is something that and I know that all this time I've been talking um, you always had it in the back of your mind but there comes a time when you have to do this on your own and another thing about being an individual and he takes care of you and oh let me get this i have to do this um thing because i wanted to be cooking because i'm doing this, this rice okay i just need two cups of water then i'm gonna boil it there was a time that i didn't know how to make rice and you know what i did everything late in life okay and i'm trying to tell you that there's let me see this is two I'm going to put two water, two cups of water, and then I'm putting this thing on. It's very easy. But it wasn't easy for me in the beginning because, like I said, I didn't know how to make rice for a long time. I was just like faking it. I could not believe it. I mean, let's just in the last, I mean, I was making it, but I still didn't really know. Like, just in the last five years, I was able to make rice. I just said, when I want to do something, I never stop. Not, it's not just that I never stop. It's that I always remember. My thing is I remember everything that I didn't know. I know maybe some people don't understand what I'm talking about. But I remember things that I don't know. Okay? So it's not just continuing because people say just do it over and over and over and over again you'll make it but that's not just it you have to be aware of what you're doing when you make a mistake and just remember okay well i didn't do it in, i didn't do it but just remember that the way you did it it didn't work and then when you keep going you'll find the right way so anyway I think uh, the la in the last five years, I was able to do it, and I read the ins Oh, I, I started working in this restaurant. I think that's what helped me out, because I worked in this restaurant. I don't know. I don't know how. I, I'm not going to go there yet. But anyway, now I know how to make rice. I think in the last 10 years or the last five years, I'm not sure when it happened. But I was so happy because it's so simple. You know what I mean? So now, I'm going to let that boil. Everybody knows how to write, make rice with me. But anyway, so now get him back. So like I said, everything is individual. And he deals with you individually. Because, why? Because you have your own free will. Everybody's different. It doesn't make a difference. Everybody's different. And we live together in unity. And then we make, this is where religion comes from. It's just that because we have to live together, okay? So you're missing a point when you just do your religion because that's earthly. And you do have to get along. You do have to do things together. And you do have to agree upon things. But then in your mind and the things that you want to do is something that nobody else has access to. 
but Jesus has access to it. And you have to, you have to believe in him. First, you just have to think about him or ponder about him. And that will help you out and you will see that he's a part of you, a part of everybody. So you gotta open up that. I even like it when I meet people and I used to like it when the Christians would come to me and go, do you know Jesus, you know? And I let me pray for you and I go, yes, okay, thank you very much. And they don't want anything. The only thing they do is want you to understand Jesus. That's, the, that's really a nice way. The Christian Christians, I mean, there's so many different kind of religions, but I mean, just the Christians that just talk about Jesus. And I also did like their movies. I, I don't want to say something bad about people, but there's one thing that, okay, everybody has something bad. I'm going to, I'm going to say it about everybody. Okay. You can joke around about everybody. Every, I'm talking about all these classes, different types of people that because we like to put people in categories. And the Jewish people who do, and I don't, and I'm not gonna say Jewish because they make everything one word Jewish and everybody has to go under that title. But I'm talking about the bad Jewish people. I'm talking about the mafia Jewish people. That's what I call mafia. Because I have to separate them from the other Jews, the normal Jew, what people call Jews. And they don't allow for Christian um, movies, you know, and otherwise we would always listen to Christian movies. And I love the Christian movies. Why? Because you can have something good that happens in the movie, all good. I mean, all inspiring things. And it doesn't have to be any conflicts or anything. Yes, there's conflicts in life, but it doesn't have to be like, a lot of movies that they have nowadays. So I'm just saying, I think that they should um, do something about that as far as Hollywood is concerned. And like I said, I'm not saying anything about Jewish because I know they have this thing to where everything is Jewish, but it doesn't work like that. Everybody has Jewish blood. Otherwise, there, there wouldn't. that's the way God made things. And that's in my other videos also. We're all one together. Everybody's wondering where they came from. Well, it came from Jesus, okay, point blank. And he put us all together and we're all one family. There's no special people. So that's another thing. And you listen to my videos. But anyway, that's the only thing I want to say It finish this video is to say, I know you're ready. Do it at your time because Jesus is going to help you. And he does it one person at a time, one at a time, okay? And it's a different time limit. Like, for instance, I'm not talking about on our time limit because, like, okay, I'm, I said this before, but I'm going to give you an example. It might be off a little bit, but let's say um, one, okay, I'm going to give you ex two examples. One is the example is like, have you ever like um, get ready to go to work and you the clock alarms and you go, oh, I just want to relax just a little bit. And then you wake up again and it's an hour pass and you go, wow, I mean, how in the world could an hour pass? And it seemed like one second or it seemed like one minute. Well, that's what I mean about a different time zone. Okay, so that's one example. Don't think too much about it. You just know it happened. Okay, there's different kinds of thinking also. And um, I'm going to put this top on because it boiled. I'm not really sure it boiled. Let me let it boil again because I have to, because I'm doing two things at once. Now, the other thing is like one minute. Okay, let's say. Now, I'm not going to say one minute. Uh, let's say one week in, how can I say, in a heavenly sort of way. Okay, I'm just using hypothetical. In a heavenly sort of way, one week. Do you know how much can be accomplished heavenly in one week? I would say one week is like, wow, it's it's. It's over a year, okay, because you got to look at it too. 
a year is what 365 days and a lot of people don't realize it's just 365 days okay so when you say one week in a like a heavenly type of way is that it would be over a year yeah it would be like over a year I mean so that's hypothetical though but I'm trying to give you an example of how Jesus and I'm gonna keep saying Jesus because that's where you're lacking your information um, that's how Jesus works and this is all I want to say, and I hope everybody enjoys this, but you've been with me for a long time, and I'm going to keep doing things differently. But as you can see, I went through the fine lines, and I would pretty much said everything. And like today, I went over all these points, and I looked at the Jehovah Witness, um, Watch Our Bible and Church Track Society, and I went through all of that, and I said, yes, it's clear that they are... Um, deceiving that they pretty much don't know what they're talking about and their points don't match okay and you have everybody out out here outside of the Jehovah Witnesses who feel really bad that they have these people who are pretty much like hiding you or just hiding or blinding you that's what I can say that are blinding you and you don't have any access to information they give watchtowers and they give, they give these information to you, but they don't even say where they got the information from. So anyway, that's all I want to say. And welcome. And remember, one at a time, take your time. And remember that you're individual and you're dealt with individually. Okay? Thank you very much. I'll see you later. Bye.